All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the beautiful Jones course at LPGA International. It's an absolutely pure, beautiful golf course. Gonna have a ton of fun today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Let's just get right after it. Stinger first thing in the morning. All right, guys, today I'm just going to be playing a little casual round of golf. I got my buddy Brian with me. We're out here at LPGA uh, International. We're playing the Reese Jones course. This thing was built yeah, back in 1994. It plays about 7,000 yards from the tips. But we're going to be playing it from a more realistic oh, yardage of about 6,200 yards. You're safe. This yeah. is a beautiful link style golf course, but it's typical Florida golf. There's going to be a lot of water. Luckily, the place is pretty open and the trees are trimmed back pretty far. So hopefully we won't lose too many golf balls and we can just have a fun day, try to score well. Ben, nice shot. Thank you. So we did get paired up on the first tee with a couple of random guys. Uh, this is Chris and his buddy Stan. They're down here on business and figured they would catch around the golf. But I am really glad we got the opportunity to play with them. These guys are hilarious. They got a great attitude. They were fun to play with. Definitely made the round entertaining. And that brings up another point about this place. This golf course is conveniently located not too, too far from Orlando. It's right outside of Daytona. It's just a little bit south of Jacksonville. So if you're ever vacationing That's in the, the area, one. I definitely think this is the kind of course I'm not good enough in. for that shit to matter. <laughs> you can me. dance on my line. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So all that said, I did start with a double on the first hole, and I'm definitely not happy about that, but it gives me a little something to fight against, make a little comeback. As always, the goal today is to just do my best to play bogey golf, have a good time hanging out with the boys. I am playing with a new driver shaft. This is a 60 gram 10C uh, stiff flex, which is a little bit heavier and stiffer. Than what I was playing, I had a 45 gram regular flex Acura shaft. Uh, I was having a hard time controlling the ball. I think my swing has improved, but I hate to brag about myself. That said, Brian put this shaft in my driver, and uh, I've definitely been seeing some better results. It's taken me a minute to get it dialed in, though. Kind of like this chipping situation where I'm just kind of floundering about here. Left one short, then kind of bladed the other long. Anybody want it in? Well, that is back to back doubles to start the round. I'm not very happy about that. Let's try to get it together here. Green and reg is a good way to do that. It's a good way to start the hole. A little bit of a birdie putt. Get up, get up. I'll take it. That's what I'm trying to do. So I thought I turned the camera on for my putting and then off for Stan's putt, but apparently I got that backwards. But I do have this clip of audio. I had a three. So at least I know my score, both on the scoreboard, but also for this video, so I can try to keep it in track for you guys. Short par four here, don't have to hit a big drive. Just need to poke it out there. And this left me a short little wedge into the green. Can't really ask for a better setup here. Turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. Ryan. Well, I went a little long. Left myself this downhill slider putt. It's a little nasty. Rolled out a little further than I wanted it to. But I drained the par. That's two in a row. We're four over through four playing bogey golf. That's literally the plan when we stepped on the first tee. Come join me. Hang on. Well, now this isn't looking good. I thought I caught some I hill. Come down. Brian's more than certain I'm in the Do bushes. What? The bushes? So unfortunately, Brian was right, and I had to drop a ball over here where it crossed the line. Luckily, this is not a long par five, but I am making it hard on myself losing a golf ball. 
That's a little tug. A little tug, but it's okay. You're out there pin high. Now, I don't know what happened to my camera here, but it got all glitchy. My shot was pushed oh God, way off to the right, really bounced down that hill, and uh, was never seen again when it ended up in all those nasty weeds and stuff. So now this chip is for a six. Nice touch. And I'm going to get a read Go off in. Here. Stay up. God damn it. Look at Chris getting slick with the backwards putt. Uh, I can't believe I lost two balls and made a double. But I am a little frustrated about the hole and then just wow. karate chop this ball Both right ball there, into Brian. the lake. So that's no good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we thought that was headed straight at the pin, but it's not. It's long, and I've got this weird chip that I just absolutely You had got. the right idea. Now, guys, I know there's no rules in golf that say I can take this chip back and hit it again, but I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm not taking that bad shot. I want the confidence of hitting something worth a shit. So whether it's because nice. max strokes on a par three is six or... If you want to call that shot unplayable and then this up and down a six, like what, however you want to add it up to a six, figure out your favorite way. We're moving on. We're out of here. There it is. Another short par four. Twirl. So you're constantly recording all of our shots. How long does it take you to edit all the shit? Oh, fuck, man. That's a, <laughs> that's a big question. Really hoping to figure something out here because uh, the last two holes have really got me irritated. That's on. It's a little left, but it's on. Yeah. Well, green and red, that's a good way to get it going. I normally can't screw it up too, too bad with a green and red. Mm, unless you leave the putt one roll short. Well, that's got us 10 over through seven, and that is honestly not where I wanted to be. But I have honestly made comebacks in golf before, so I'm gonna just try to keep thinking positive, play some good golf, and try to enjoy the rest of the round. Ball's been pretty slicey today, so I'm gonna try to straighten that up. And uh, of course, overdo it. Catch the ugly side of the hill, and now we are gambling on where that ball is gonna be. Is this it? Nope. Is this it? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to make a drop. Oh, oh look, I found it. Yeah, I'm going right over those guys' heads. So I actually connected with this really well. Just came up a little bit short. I got a little bit of a chip here, trying to save a bogey. Just kind of misread it, and it breaks off the hill the wrong way, and doesn't work out the way I want it to. Did you find your first one? Yeah, I was over on the side, but that's fucking a quad. No, it's a triple. Four putts. I didn't, I found his ball. I thought that was you. Me too, till it said Snell on the side. <laughs> I mean, Knowing I hit a Callaway over there, right? <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't knock the brand off it. <laughs> that, was, that was a good $5 ball, too. I know. All right, this putt to save bogey. Wow. That triple track nope. Why is that going left? What is that? A draw. Yep. Is that what that is? Yeah. I'm not familiar with the term. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to just pick this thing clean out of the bunker and do not do that at all. 
I end up just hopping it, swinging out of my shoes, trying to make up distance on this par five. Of course, that never works out. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's compound one bad decision with another and go from a bad sand shot to hitting a three wood out of the rough. By out of the rough, I mean out of the toe and get really lucky that it hops into the fairway and not even further into the rough or into another bunker. Look at this head shake. Look at it. Oh, I hate that shot. I've been slicing everything all morning. Now I'm yanking everything going into the afternoon. Fortunately, I can promise you guys that I do turn it around. I get it dialed in going into the back nine. Unfortunately, that is not this video. If you've been watching this far, I appreciate you. But to see the comeback, you're gonna have to make sure you subscribe. Look at that. What a putt. Look at that. Oh, nice I fucking putt. needed that to keep the triple off the card. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us here on the front nine at the LPGA Jones course. I am, I don't even know what I am. I'm like 13 or 14 49. over or something. 49? What is that? 13 over? Mm. 13 over? I think the real score is probably like 50 over with that funky par three that I did stupid shit on. So I don't know. Uh, chance to break 100 is still on the line, but I was really hoping to get sub 95, sub 90, something like that while I was out here today. I've been playing pretty good golf lately, but I guess the camera's probably a five stroke handicap if we're being honest. But anyways, that's gonna wrap us up here at the turn. We're gonna go ahead and play the back nine. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. You're gonna catch that video next week and hopefully it'll be a good comeback story. I'm gonna try to turn this thing around somehow and just just play excellent golf. New nine, new man starts next week. Subscribe so you can get updated. Other than that, I'll see you next week.